Hi, my name is Jamin Still, and I've spent the past four months writing and illustrating the picture book, Ellen and the Winter Wolves. It tells the story of Ellen, an eight-year-old girl who is trying to discover the reason for the unnaturally long winter, and the book is full of adventure and mystery and excitement, as well as really great characters, uh, most of which are animals that can talk. The idea for this book was born from one image, uh, Ellen and the Peacock, and I painted that back in 2012. And since then, I've been thinking about the bigger story that this painting seemed to be a part of. And so finally, in April of this year, I sat down and wrote it. Here's some questions that I've been asked about this project that I thought I'd answer here to help you get a clear sense of what this book is, is about. The first question, is uh, it's a good one it's a, it's a pertinent question it says uh, what age group is this for you know i'm going to say this uh, story is for ages six and up and really the sweet spot is probably between six and ten although i know a five-year-old who really enjoyed it um, basically the reason for the slightly higher age level is that it's a longer story it's about 15 to 20 minutes when read out loud and so younger kids probably aren't going to have the attention span for it. So it's really not for babies. It's not for newborns. Adults uh, really like it. The, the ones that I've shared it with, uh, they like the story. And so basically the, the story's for everyone but babies and toddlers. Uh, I, I will say, though, that I've, I've tried to, to broaden the appeal of the book. And by that, I mean broaden age-wise by painting really uh, intricate, detailed, colorful illustrations that will be engaging to younger viewers. And I've also hidden pictures within the pictures. There's little pictures of wolves that the kids can, can look for. So say Tommy, age four or five, uh, isn't really engaged with the story, which let's be honest, he's going to be. But if he's not, he can sit there and, and, and look for the wolves. He can hunt for those uh, while the story's being read. Or no one has to read it to him at all. He can just look at the pictures. So uh, I've made an effort to, to make this as broadly appealing as possible. All right, number two. How many pages are in the book? This is easy. There's 44 pages. Um, like I said, it's a lengthy book. There's 20 full um, page illustrations and then 20 pages of text. Number three, um, I noticed the book is about winter wolves. Is it scary? Is this going to traumatize my child? That's a great question. Uh, the answer is no. Um, the wolves are frightening, to, to be sure. They, they are frightening creatures. But I'm going to give you a spoiler. They don't win. And so what you have to do is keep reading it. Just don't stop in the middle of it because that will be scary to your child. Just keep reading to the end and then it's all good. It's really more fun than scary. Uh, number four, is Ellen someone you know? No, you know, she's not my daughter. She's not my niece. I don't know her. I just made her up. She's fiction. And lastly, number five, I noticed on your website that you have lots of Ellen images. Do they all appear in this book? No, they don't. I painted a lot of Ellen images uh, as I was trying to figure out her story. Um, Ellen riding a bear, Ellen in a balloon. Uh, Ellen doing all kinds of stuff, and, and not all of those pictures do appear in the book. And so I might use those for later books, um, but for now, um, yeah, the answer is no. There's, there's a lot that, that aren't used. Now, I'm really excited about this project because I've wanted to do a book for a long time now. And now that it's done, I'm particularly excited because this is the book that I would have wanted to read as a child and have read to me as a child as well and and it's the book I want to read to my kids and so you know I want to invite you to to join me in in making this happen um, I, I put together some really cool rewards so I encourage you to to look through them and to pick out what's uh, best for you thanks a lot I appreciate your support